The first snow of the season also means it's time to pull out those shovels and your snow blowers if you're lucky enough to have one. And it's not just about making it easier to get your car out or walk your dog. In most areas, cleaning your sidewalks is the law, but not everyone is physically able to shovel snow. That's where programs like the city of Pittsburgh's Snow Angels program come into play. Joining me now live over Zoom is the city's manager of the Office of Community Affairs, Leah Friedman. Leah, thank you for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me. Tell me, what are the character traits of an upstanding snow angel? Um, so a snow angel volunteer is somebody who is willing to spend a little bit of extra time on a day like today when it snows to volunteer to help a neighbor um, shovel their sidewalk who may have some trouble doing that. Um, it doesn't it doesn't take a, a lot of time and we would only match a volunteer with a neighbor in need um, within a 10 minute walk of them. Who are the people that are so thankful each year to be on the receiving end of a snow angels visit? Um, so uh, somebody who would be receiving a snow angel volunteer um, just would have to live within the city of Pittsburgh. Um, they would be a senior citizen, a veteran, or somebody with a disability that would prevent them from shoveling their own snow in the winter. Um, those are our only requirements, so we just want to make sure that for those who, who winter presents a little bit of an extra hardship for, we're able to help them out um, with a snow angel volunteer. So it works that you're paired with one person, or could you be paired with multiple people if you want to have a larger commitment? Yeah, absolutely. We had um, <clears throat> somebody last year who was paired with four neighbors around them um, who all needed help shoveling their snow. And this volunteer was ha had the time and, and was able to, to commit to that. Um, but generally, you would just be matched with one neighbor within a 10 minute walking distance of you. How did this program come to be and what have we seen over the years in terms of growth? How many volunteers this year are you looking for? <clears throat> um, so this program has been around um, through the county, now through the city of Pittsburgh for um, several years now. Every single year, we have many more neighbors sign up um, who need assistance than we have volunteers. Okay. So this year, actually, we have 441 people signed up who have requested assistance, and we've been able to match just 145 of them. Um, so we are looking for volunteers from every neighborhood, all 90 neighborhoods in the city of Pittsburgh to sign up and hopefully we can get them matched up with somebody near them who needs a little bit of extra help. That's a big difference. That's a couple hundred people that you still need. How do you get the yeah. word out? How, how do we think we're going to find all these people? Um, so we do our best to promote Snow Angels on our social media, um, the city of Pittsburgh's Facebook page, website. Um, opportunities like this are great. Um, so, you know, we to, to sign up, you can call our 311 hotline just by dialing 311 if you need help or if you want to volunteer. Um, you can also visit the city of Pittsburgh's website, pittsburghpa.gov slash snowangels. Um, you can sign up online there as well. All right. Well, Leah, that was my final question. So hopefully after tonight's segment, you'll have everyone calling or signing up in order to volunteer. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us tonight. Hopefully Pittsburgh delivers for you and everyone wants to volunteer.